Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, during this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply uh, filters in Power App galleries in a very simple way. So before I proceed further, if you have not really subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. So guys, in front of you, you can see a list power filter that I have created in one of my test sites. I have three columns, uh, title, val, status. So status is a choice. You have yes, no, and other two are types. You can have other types as well. Now I have created a very simple power app. Here you see this gallery I have created. This is pointing to the same um, uh, data source, that list. Now what I have done in order to do filter, it's dynamic filtering. First see how it works. So first I'll try to filter it with this. So if I type a letter for F, F, See, only two values state because others do not have. If I type uh, S, these two state because whatever you type, it's going to based on that. Similarly here, if I type one, well, one and it's like combination. For example, if I do F, OK, now if I type four. OK, if I type V, both will stay. If I type yes, only one. So you it's kind of and situation between these filters and 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 OK now how I have created data like you can create a gallery and you can put your data fine. Then I, what I did for each of these columns, of course, you can put column headings and all and you can make it attractive like so I added. Um, input text input OK and I put a name for them. That's fine. Now the. The real game begins in this uh, formula. That is the items for this. See clear. So what I'm doing, I'm filtering. This is the data source. So. This is called title box. This is called val box. This is called status box. OK, now remember status is a drop down, so it's kind of a table. OK. So what I do is like. Title box text in title, so filter. Uh, this one with this text in title and then filter with the text in this box in title and filter based on status box text in status dot value. This dot value is very important because it's a drop down, right? It will have ID and world value. So that's why you do and it works like a charm. So this is just a way to show you. Of course, you can make it interesting and the way you really want to. So thanks for watching this. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.